Hello, Pastor James here with you for the word of the day. And today's word is kindness. You know, I had an opportunity to uh, engage with our grandchildren a few days ago, and it was just really amazing to hear their answers and uh, all those kind of things to the questions that we had. And um, I won't go into all that because, hey, we, we know our children and we know what they need. And sometimes just in our engagement with our children, sometimes it gives us um, the platform to, to pray for them, uh, give us something to pray for them for. And um, I just begin to think as I listen to them, I'm, I'm like, man, we need to be in a position of kindness. We need to position ourselves in kindness. We need to understand kindness. We need to understand that um, kindness is necessary in this walk in Christ. Okay, because when we walk in kindness, man, it produces some fruit that we are unable to produce outside of kindness. And we shouldn't be kind just because we want fruit of kindness, but we should just be kind just because it just it's just the kingdom thing to do. It's to be kind to one another, you know, to do things for one another, to to show kindness um, um, to one another that we can that so that we can receive it as well. And so that people can see the representation of the kingdom of God through our kindness. They see our kindness and they may want to know, hey, what what is it that makes you different? Because you're really kind. You're really nice. And kindness doesn't necessarily mean that we get walked on through our kindness, but kindness to understand, uh, understanding kindness in a way that we're able to give kindness without being walked on, without being timid, without uh, 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 having people say all kind of crazy stuff. Kindness doesn't mean that, but kindness is just being genuinely, authentically yourself and allowing it to come forth and then to be poured out on others because there are those who need to experience kindness. There are those who haven't received a hug maybe all week, all month, or maybe in years. There are those who haven't uh, had anybody say, hey, you look nice today. There, there's those that um, may have uh, uh, gone without uh, uh, certain amenities and things of that nature for a long time, and, and you're led by the Lord to be kind to them. So during this time of consecration, may we be aware of our surroundings and may we be kind to others so that we can show the love of Jesus Christ. All right. So today's word, guess what? Kindness. All right. Be blessed.